Introduction to Ice Cream Processing Ice cream is obtained by freezing a pasteurized mix prepared from milk. It may contain sweetening agents, fruits, eggs, coffee, cocoa, chocolate, condiments, spices, ginger, nuts, etc. It may also contain bakery products such as cake or cookies as a separate layer and coating. Following is a list of ice creams produced in a typical dairy processing plant. Plain ice creams, nut ice cream, kulfi, sundae, sundae swirl, double sundae, stick varieties of ice cream, dolly, cone and candy. Equipments used in an ice cream processing plant. Raw milk reception dock. The place in the dairy plant where milk first arrives and is received after grading for acceptance is known as raw milk receiving dock. Milk is delivered to the dairy plant either in cans or in tankers. Since further processing of milk mainly depends upon its quality, the decision of accepting the milk must be done immediately after arrival and thorough investigation. Reception includes unloading, grading, conveying, sampling, testing, weighing or measuring and recording, dumping and pumping. Storage tanks. Storage tanks are containers that hold hot or cold liquids used for short or long term storage. In a dairy industry, the storage tanks are classified based on structure and heat preservation capacity. Storage tanks are available in many shapes, for example, vertical and horizontal, cylindrical, open top and closed top, flat bottom, cone bottom, slope bottom and dish bottom. Milk chiller. Chilling of milk is the rapid cooling of raw milk to sufficiently low temperature to check the growth of microorganisms present. In chilling process, the temperature of milk should be reduced to less than 10 degrees Celsius. Milk separator. A separator is a centrifugal device that separates milk into cream and skimmed milk. Homogenizer. Homogenization is the process used to make a uniform mixture of two mutually non-soluble liquids. This is achieved by turning one of the liquids into a state consisting of extremely small particles distributed uniformly throughout the other liquid. Pasteurizer Pasteurization of milk is the process of heating milk to 63 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes or 72 degrees centigrade for 15 seconds in order to kill microorganisms that could cause spoilage, disease or undesired fermentation of food. After pasteurization, the milk is immediately cooled to 5 degrees centigrade or below. The purpose of pasteurization is to increase milk safety for the consumers and to enhance the quality and shelf life of milk products. Ice cream packaging machine. Most ice cream processing plants use automated mechanism process line for the pouring, filling and cutting of ice creams into cups, cones, containers and candy sticks. These machines are ideal equipment for packing free-flowing type food products. Let us summarize what we have learned once more. Manufacturing process of ice cream. After the milk is procured from the dairy farm, it is checked and stored in large tanks for cooling at less than 5 degrees centigrade. This cool milk is then transferred to the tri blender and mixed with the ingredients like sugar, skimmed milk, cream, etc., and mixed together by churning in tanks at 60 degrees centigrade to help dissolve and prepare a premix which would be the base for the ice cream. This premix is then sent to a pasteurizer where it is heated to 82 degrees centigrade. 
for 18 seconds and then quickly cool to 5 degrees centigrade. This process is called pasteurization. This premix then passes through a homogenizer where the fats are further broken down into small globules which smoothens the mixture. This process is called homogenization. This premix then passes through heat exchangers for cooling and is then chilled to 2 degrees centigrade and left to thicken. This becomes the base mixture. This mixture is then aged in insulated storage tanks for at least 6 to 8 hours at 4 to 6 degrees centigrade. For further processing, flavors and colors are added and it is passed through the dynamic freezing process where the temperature is minus 4 to minus 5 degrees centigrade. This process generates the soft creamy ice cream. The quality test and check is done at the stage for any defects and give approval before the product release. The ice cream mix is then poured directly from the freezer in containers, cups or molds and is cut to different shapes and sizes. Fruits, nuts and other decorations are added as required to selected items while filling. They are passed through a tunnel in the assembly line at minus 35 to minus 40 degrees centigrade to thicken and send for packing. It is then packed and placed into a blast freezer at minus 30 to minus 40 degrees centigrade for hardening of the ice creams. It is then stored in the storage area where the temperature is maintained at minus 25 degrees centigrade. The ice creams here can be stored for a longer period before it is delivered for distribution to the retail market. Packaging and Storage of Finished Dairy Product Packaging of Finished Product The packaging of dairy products is very important to preserve its nutritive values. The challenge to the packaging industry is to deliver the nutritious milk to the consumer in most economical, hygienic, safe and environmentally friendly package. Hence, it is important to choose the right packaging material. Some of the commonly used packaging materials used in the dairy industry are paper, paperboard and corrugated fiberboard. Stock rotation system like FIFO and FEFO are applied. FIFO, first in first out, is a stock rotation system that dispatches processed food depending on the order in which it is produced. FEFO, first expired first out, is a stock rotation system wherein products that need to be consumed earlier are shipped first. Roles and Responsibilities of Dairy Product Processor Let us now take a look at the roles and responsibilities of Dairy Products Processor. Handle raw material from recipient to the process line. Check the raw material for quality. Ensure minimum loss of raw material. Record Keeping and Documentation Document and maintain records of raw materials. Document and maintain records of production schedule and process. Document and maintain records of finished products. Maintenance of hygiene and sanitation. Adopt safety and sanitation related measures. Follow food safety norms and practices. Operate dairy equipment and machineries. Optimize the use of machinery. Ensure smooth operation of machinery to complete production line. Inspect machines and troubleshoot issues. Attend to minor repairs of tools and machinery when required. Ensure that safety rules and regulations are observed. Prevent accidents. 
Plan and execute the production process. Examine products at different stages of production. Adhere to good manufacturing practices, GMP. Inspect intermediate as well as finished products. Achieve quality and quantity products. Ensure the products meet the quality standards set by the organization. Follow storage and packaging norms. Ensure safe and proper storage of raw material, packaging material and finished goods.